Welcome back again folks to Quick Clip Tips. Uh, several of you wanted to uh, wanted me to make a video showing how I install or how to install a strap button on your acoustic guitar. Yeah, still got the old guild here. The work's all done on it. All the work we're going to do to it for now. I'll let it settle down a while. Anyways, we're going to use it. The owner wanted me to put a strap button in it. And uh, word got out somehow and a bunch of you wanted me to make a video of how I do it. So I'm going to bring the camera around here, get you in here as best I can, and I'll show you how I put a strap button on your, or my, or any, anyone's acoustic guitar. Hold on. And away we go. First thing you want to do is determine the proper size drill bit that you're going to use, okay? And then you want to, I'm using a 564 inch drill bit here. 564 uh, bit, and you want to uh, figure out how deep you want to drill, okay? That's what the tape's for. So I'm only going to drill into the guitar up to the tape because that's as far as the screws want to go into it. There's a piece of felt that goes on there also that I'm accounting for. You know, I don't have it on there right now, but it will go on there in a few minutes. What I like to do, okay, you're coming down your neck here, okay? And right here you start to turn and come down the heel, okay? There's a, an elbow, we'll call it, right here, a curve, all right? Dig it? On the high E string side, uh, like if you're playing the guitar, the side farthest away from you, you don't want to screw up and put it on the wrong side. So it goes on the high E string side. I like to find uh, the very center of this curvature here. Okay, that's, I know that's not a good camera angle and I've got light reflections and everything else, but uh, what can I say? It's free. <laughs> I like to take a piece of masking tape. Anyways, I like to come down to this curve and find the center of that curve. Just determine where the about the middle of the curve is, okay? And from that point, move toward the back of the guitar. So you'll be coming this way, okay? So we're going to come down from the center of the curve here. And then we're going to come back just a little bit to about right there. And that's where we want to drill. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I'll do my best. I've got to hold the guitar too, so. And there we go. The tape kind of uh, shows you you know, you can mark on it with a pencil the way I did there, or not, or you can draw an X or whatever. But it also kind of saves your uh, your finish from getting marred up right there, okay? See, that didn't hurt that finish at all. Now, I'm going to take a screwdriver that fits. <laughs> it's always very important. Get my little piece of felt here. And... Uh, should be able to screw that puppy right on there. Right into our hole. And I'm having to do this left-handed. And I'm not a left-handed guy. And you want to screw that in until it's... You don't want to bust it or anything. But you want it, you know, where it doesn't spin on there like that. See how that spins? You don't want that. But you don't want to, this. This is a plastic button, by the way, and I don't want to screw the thing on there so tight that I bust the button. Now we're starting to snug a little bit now. Now one more, I think, will do it. And there you go. A plastic strap button. Now. Of course, that's not going to be in your way when you come down in here playing the guitar. It's nicely out of the way. Your strap won't get in the way. And it's a perfect place 
I've seen people put strap buttons in in the heel right here. That's you never want to do that. And I've seen them put them way back here. I've seen them awful close to the fretboard too. But you know, like I say, find the curvature here. Select the very center of that curvature, and then move toward the back of the guitar a little bit. And that's where you want to put it. Not too much. Don't come clear back here like that. Hold on. It literally only takes five minutes, man, to put a, a strap button on your acoustic guitar. It's as simple as that right there. Just, uh, you know, make sure you got the right size drill bit for whatever size screw you're using. And I would suggest taking an old piece of wood. I, I did. I always do. Always. And even if I'm sure I've got the right bit. Take an old piece of wood and, uh, you know, mark your depth. Drill into it. Screw the screw into it. Put the strap button on the old piece of wood. Make sure, you know, iron out all of the bugs you can before you do it. Actually do it on the guitar. And uh, you won't have any trouble, I don't think, if you're careful. Just, uh, you know, do a couple dry runs or practice runs on an old board or whatever. I used this old 2x4 here. I drilled into it and screwed the strap button to it. Just to make sure, you know, that uh, my eyes wasn't playing tricks and I had too big of a bit. You'd be screwed then. But anyways, there's your quick tip uh, for today. You're going to see this guild again. I'm going to do a, a better demo with it. I've been playing the thing a lot. God, it sounds good, man. So sweet. Anyway, more of that later. <laughs> I don't want to tease you too much. I'm going to do one more video with this guitar and uh, do a demo. Some, uh, you know, try to play some stuff on it for you and show you what this thing's got. I can't quit playing it, baby. I got to stop playing it and get some of these other guitars fixed. So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for hanging around and uh, comments, man. I love uh, getting you guys' comments. I know a lot of you don't comment much or at all. Uh, stay, say hello. I mean, anything, you know. Just if you're a new subscriber, stop in one of the videos, say hello, or so, you know, anything. Say anything you want. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Cheers. Peace to you. I will see you on the next one. Until then, hold on. <laughs>